Let's install a recessed outlet together. It only takes five minutes. I'm gonna show you how. Anytime you have cords behind some furniture and you want to push the furniture flush up against the wall, recessed outlets are the way to go. And we're gonna do this in exactly five minutes. I'm gonna show you just how fast and easy it is to do. First, you're going to turn off the breaker so that you can kill power. Then we're going to get the switch out of the box. Now we'll check that the outlet is in fact turned off and the receptacle tester here tells me that it is. So we're good to go. Let's start that clock, five minutes to go. First, let's remove the face plate from the original outlet. And I am not going to speed this video up at all. I want you to see in real time that you can do this in five minutes. Next, we're gonna take a screwdriver and remove the outlet from the wall. I'm just using a little electric screwdriver. You can use a manual one, doesn't matter. Once we get the outlet from the wall, we're going to disconnect all of the wires. Now your outlet may have the wires wrapped around the screw terminals or they may be pushed into these holes into the back. I'm demonstrating both ways so that I can show you how to disconnect. If it's in the holes in the back, we're gonna take just this tiny little flathead screwdriver, insert it into this little square hole here. And while we're inserting it, we can pull that out. We're gonna do the other side. It goes into that little square hole, apply some pressure, and then the wire pops out. And then of course you take a screwdriver to take them off if they're attached on the side terminals. So there's that one. And here is the last one. Finally, we're going to remove the ground wire. So we've got all of the wires out of the old outlet. Now let's put in the new outlet. The white wires, which are your neutral, are going to go on the silver screws here, and the black wires, which are your hot, will connect to the brass screws. So you're gonna take your pliers, we're gonna make a little loop in the wire if you don't already have a loop. And first we're gonna put the ground wire, which is the copper wire, on this green screw here. I'm just taking the pliers to kinda tighten the loop around the screw, and then I'll take my screwdriver and drive that in, make it nice and tight. We're gonna give it a little tug, make sure that it's connected well. Next, let's make loops on the white wires. Now I do wanna point out that you want to make the loops in a clockwise direction around the screws. So basically we're gonna loop it clockwise around the screw. And the reason for that is when you go to tighten the screw, you're gonna tighten it clockwise and this will prevent the wire from backing out on you. So we've got that attached. We're gonna take a screwdriver and we're gonna tighten that down. Now your receptacle may only have one set of wires, uh, one black and one white, and that's fine. Mine here has two black and two white, so we're gonna hook those all up. Again, we're gonna make another loop, and we're going to attach it to the silver screws. And then tighten it up. I apologize for this being so out of focus. Normally I would cut that out in editing, but I'm not gonna do that this time because I wanna show you exactly what I'm doing here. So give those a tug, make sure they are on there nice and tight. Now let's flip it over and work on the brass side, the brass screws. Again, be mindful of making the loops in a clockwise direction around the screw. Whenever I remove the old outlet, if I have two sets of wires, I take the ones that were in the top of the old outlet and I kind of fold them outside of this box here up the top of the wall and I take the ones that were at the bottom and I fold them down or you could label them. That way you'll know where they go on the new outlet. I will tell you, if you get them wrong, it's not a big deal. As soon as you turn the power back on, use your little receptacle tester. It's gonna tell you that it's wrong and you'll be able to go and reverse it. So the last one here, let's make that loop and pop it on to the brass screw. And I'm just taking this pliers again to kind of tighten that loop around the screw a little bit better because it was a little wide. Obviously this one was giving me a little bit of a challenge. Normally I would edit that out, but again, I want you to see everything as it's happening. So let's get that tightened up. And we are almost finished here with a minute and a half left to go. Congratulations, if you stuck with me this long, you are seeing firsthand just how easy it is to wire a recessed outlet or any outlet for that matter. And we are done. Again, I'm gonna give those a little tug, make sure they're in there nice and tight. And now we're going to fold these wires up back into the box. That little wire nut there with the extra grounds are kind of giving me a fit. So we're gonna push those off to the side and we're gonna get that in. And then we'll take the screwdriver and we're gonna screw this right into the box. And if you don't have a headlamp, I would highly recommend getting one. I use this headlamp for everything. They're really great, especially for doing projects like this when you have to have the power off. 
And these receptacles are awesome. Not only are they good for low places like this where you need to plug in some things and push the furniture up against the wall, but these are great behind televisions like when you're hanging them on the wall. If you've got an outlet there and you're doing like a low profile mounted TV and you need the cord to kind of be out of the way, these boxes work great. And as you can see here, we got this installed in exactly five minutes. So you can do this yourself. It's super easy to do. Just remember, turn that power off first, use those receptacle testers, make sure the power's off, and then have at it. And I should have used the electric screwdriver for this, but I couldn't find the flat bit, so here we are. And we're done. We're going to turn the power back on and then use the receptacle tester to verify that we have it installed correctly, which we do. So now we can plug this in and I can put this furniture back up against the wall and not have to worry about damaging the cord. Be sure to subscribe for more DIY Made Easy.